Hello everyone, Sir Monkey Sort of Zappy here, back again with Fate Unlimited Blade Works. We're on episode 6 of season 2, and in the last episode, uh, Kasa is gone. She's dead. Uh, Kazuki is also gone. He's dead. <laughs> um, Archer did betray them, um, as I suspected he would. Although, the, the reasoning why is what I didn't get right. I thought it was, you know, at the end of the day, I thought afterwards he would resume his sort of sort of status with Rin and whatnot. But that doesn't seem to be the case, because he still wants to kill Shiro. Uh, the Master... Uh, their master status didn't return after they killed uh, Casta, so now it's you know, now it's a case of um, what's going to come next. I mean, I, I, I'm sure that there's a thing like without a master, the servant doesn't have any mana pool to take from, so their physical form only lasts like a certain while. I'm pretty sure they're on a time limit. So I mean, uh, you know, I don't know, I don't know what the fuck's going to happen. You know, I mean. Pfft. Fuck knows. All I know is that Archer is on his way to kill Shiro right now. He's only like a fucking, like, I don't know, maybe like 10 meters away from tops. So we'll just have to, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, I don't think I've got anything else to really talk about. So, uh, so yeah, we're going to get in this episode see what we get. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, episode six. <sighs> well, this was um, I think what was that? What was the fucking shit? What was the oh god? What was the title? It was like the beginning of the circle or something. And I said, I said immediately like, oh, what was it? The be beginning of the circle of what? The loop of the time. Um, and I think it, it. I think possibly it could be. It actually could be that. I was kind of when I was joking, but I think it probably could be that because everyone knows now. Shiro and Rin now know that that Archer is Shiro. So, so yeah, it was yeah it was also confirmed like that whole thing of like you know it, it, it heroes can be like summoned from the past, present, and even distant future. Or was it not so a distant future? So I don't know. Maybe there is a, a thing on like it can only go so far into the future. But yeah, um, I just want to know like how far that future was because. It was specifically, like, said by, like, Rin that he was, cons like, he was, con you know, consistently betrayed. Um, in the end, it was more like his ideals, but... But, yeah, it's like... I wonder why who... I find it interesting as well, like, with Rin basically saying that, like, I can't believe that, like, the people around him sort of, like, allowed things to happen. And it's just, like, well, it's funny because she is technically, she's one of the people around him. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, but she has tried. You know what I mean? She, I think she's the, the only one that's actually fought, I guess, truly against Shiro's sort of ideology is Rin. And it's so, it, it's quite, it, it is kind of jarring for the, the position that Rin's in. Because she is going against Archer, who was Shiro. But Archer knows that Shiro, Shiro's ideals is what leads him to who he is now. And it's what Rin doesn't agree with anyway. So essentially Rin and Archer agree that Shiro's ideals aren't good, but because... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's so fucking... Oh, time stuff, man. Um. So, yeah, at the beginning, yeah, Archer basically saying should have never become a hero. Yeah, that was, you know, another sort of hint before literally it became confirmation. Um, You know, uh, Shiro had ringing in his head. Memories were essentially, like, almost like coming back to him kind of thing. Um... I fucking called it as well. As soon as Rin like looked over at Saber, I was like, "Is it possible? <laughs> Is it possible to do that?" I think the reason how it was possible was because she had one stone left, right? Was that what it was? I think she had one stone left, which she could use like the mana from. I could be wrong, but I, but I think that's what it is. And it's not just the incantation; like she needs like a stone there with her, and and she. I think maybe she kept that as a sort of as a fail safe. Pardon the pun, um, but yeah, that's uh, that was really cool. I did call though, like I didn't know if that was a possibility, but it did actually end up happening, which is which is good. Um, 
Uh, Archer, yeah, pointed out that independent action thing that uh, you know we heard back in Zero as well with Gilgamesh being like Archer. They have this that, that independent action, which means that they can last longer without a master, um, which is nuts. Um, so yeah, he did his whole thing. I am the bone of my sword, and then uh, yeah, he got into his reality marble, which is his world. That's his essentially noble phantasm. I find it interesting the fact that because Shiro goes on about saving you know the whole world that that becomes his noble phantasm like it's not a weapon it's not like you know anything like that it's it's a world um and it, it's it, it's and he, he basically said that like any sword or any weapon that he just so much as lays his eyes upon he can he can create which is that, that's nuts i this kind of all makes sense because i'm sure i'm positive and i did i did talk about it in one of my one of the episodes it had to have been like episode five of the first season of ubw where they were against berserker and i'm positive berserker when he fired like an arrow right i'm sure it had the hilt of excalibur i'm sure it did i could be completely off base but i i'm, I'm positive it was if it wasn't it looked like almost identical though it was so close to it i'm sure it was so it kind of makes sense in that regard. Um, but Shiro uh, could work so much better in it. He said that, like, you know, I like he can see. I, I can't remember what the quote was. He said that he could see the world like it was like, you know, he works well in it because it's his world, essentially. Um, it's interesting to see that that doesn't, like, that affects Shiro even before he's even got to that point. Um, it's definitely interesting. Um so you've got to think then at this point does archer know who he is does archer know that shiro is him because rin and shiro do and the way kind of archer goes about it he says that like it's almost like his duty if he's there for a fail safe then his his you know his Wish. He, he, he isn't doing it for a wish he's doing it for an objective which I'm guessing it's almost like an objective given by the grail to do it because he's a fail safe which means that you know I just find it interesting like that he's putting there to stop the 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 destruction like he, like to stop like humanity's destruction or whatever but I don't know i mean i mean in that case then you've got to think that shiro isn't the one that causes destruction to the world because he wants to save everyone i remember like i don't know if this goes back to zero because you could i think you could easily say that it that it could the the whole thing with kiritsugu in the in the grail basically saying that by saving um but essentially by Kiritsugu's ideals by saving the like you know what was it I think they were like oh there's there's 300 on board one ship 200 on another you can only save one who do you save oh you save the, you save who are like the more, more people who are on board or whatever right and basically it kept going down until you know there was nobody left essentially it gave a um, it was basically given a message that you know you can't save everybody it, it can only it, the grail would only work via the um, conditions that the wish that you're granting could be granted and the only way that it could be done so the only way you can actually you know stop war and all of that is by essentially killing all of humanity so that's what he would do so i wonder if there's something similar going on here with that in which case you know the destruction of, of humanity basically alludes to that whole ideal and that's the reason why archer has basically come in to stop shiro from trying to to go down that route you know or basically maybe the objective his his objective as a fail safe device is to not essentially kill Shiro, but to stop him from getting the Holy Grail because what he would what he would say, like what what would his wish be? Now, interestingly enough, that was only for the lesser Grail, right? The the greater Grail could do something, but you but you know we don't know about that yet. I feel like the greater Grail is only used for one thing, and that's the root. So whatever that is, I I mean, you know, 
Because the only way to get that is by the other... Like, there can only be one left alive, right? All other six need to be essentially sacrificed for that to, that to come about. But, um... Yeah, it'd be interesting nonetheless, like, if... Uh, if if that's the reason why Archer is there in the first place, he's basically there to 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 stop this ideal of saving everyone because the only way to really get to save everyone or stop war and all that kind of stuff is you know to basically get rid of humanity because it's kind of in our nature to do that. So uh, it's interesting regardless. Um, and yeah, Gilgamesh showed up with Shinji. Uh, Gilgamesh basically called him a faker when he walked by. Now I don't know in what like sort of capacity that is. Like if it's a faker by servant nature, so he's he's not a real, he's not there as a true sort of hero. He's there as a failsafe device, or he sees the ideals and and therefore he he, he, he puts it down to being a faker because of that. I don't know. Um, I feel like it's the first one. I feel like Gilgamesh being aware that he's a failsafe device kind of being like, you know what I mean? But how the fuck does Gilgamesh know all this stuff? I mean, it's, I guess it's possible that um, that uh, Kiri would know and maybe he's told Gilgamesh. It, it could be that. But um, yeah, I don't know what... Um, I, don't, I don't know how, how else this plays out now. I mean, I guess Rin's got her... She's got command spells back, right? So she's got three that could be used in some way i think it's going to be interesting to see like shiro versus archer if if rin is there she could command say about the help shiro <laughs> you know what i mean even though you know she's because she has that ability i mean she's got three left so i assume she's going to need to use them for what for what i don't know but i think what may happen is it'll get to the deadline shinji will take mm -hmm. Rin, and then Rin can can command Saber to come back. I think uh, come to her raid kind of thing. I think that could possibly be a case. We'll have to see though. Um, and then at the end, then the after credit scene, fifty three unconscious people at Ryodo Temple, and looking, it looks like Gilgamesh did that. And I don't. The only thing I can gather from that is, in Zero there was a. Um, I can't remember who said it. But somebody said that there are certain points in Fuyuki City where the Grail can be summoned. And I think Ryodo Temple was one of them. So I think maybe that's what he's doing, right? That's got to be what, what Gilgamesh is doing. Because he's got the Lesser Grail, so he can summon it. But if he's... I've got to wonder, like, what he's... What, he's, what, is, it, what is he looking to wish for, I wonder? I wonder... I don't know, but uh, but yeah, but that's all I've got. And now it's dark. Now it's dark. You know what I mean? I can't can't find a fucking happy medium. You dick. <laughs> fucking fucking light and sun and weather and shite. But yeah, that is all. So thank you for watching. In the description below, I've linked certain things. Discord. Get yourself over there. Um, everything you need information regarding my channel and videos and anything like that, you can go over there. Also, if you want to come talk to me or the community, you're free to do that as well. Uh, SirMonkeySuit.com, my website, uh, that is in there as well. Uh, get yourself over there, all my videos are over there, and uh, you can become a member and access the forum and, you know, request shows that you want me to react to when polls come around and stuff like that, so get yourself over there. And Patreon, so I do have a Patreon, if you do want to support me, that would be very much appreciated. There's a bunch of different tiers and rewards depending on how much you want to support me with, so there's the early access, $5 a month, gives you access to shows a week early. Um, and you get four episodes as well as of right now you get four episodes of fate every week but as of this but as this video goes out public to the to youtube and um, there'll be a different show but they'll be getting four episodes a week so make sure you just you know you have a look see what it is if you're interested um ten dollars a month that's a full length gives you access to my full length library everything i react to gets a full length um fifteen dollars exclusive tier that gives you access to a bonus show I'm currently reacting to, which is Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, so if you're interested in that, get, get yourself over there, become an exclusive to our patron. Uh, and that also includes movie reactions as well, which uh, My Hero 2, uh, My Hero Academia 2 Heroes will be coming out. Um, it should be already out, actually, by the time this goes out to YouTube. So, uh, so yeah, you can find my reaction over there. I might put that out for the general public uh, on YouTube, that movie reaction, but we'll see. Um, Fifty dollars. That's the elite tier. So every time you pay fifty dollars, you get a choice of a show that you want me to react to, and I will react to it. It will go at the back of the show behind about seven shows. My team will get round to it, but I will do eventually. But if you don't want to wait that long and you want your show to be reacting to next, and you want to get God tier with hundred dollars. But that is all. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.